gems and history of life right here in Arkansas. That's what Michael Schwartz, James Kirkendall, and Eddie Sisson are doing as they take pictures of old rundown buildings across the natural state. They call themselves Abandoned Arkansas, and one of the landmarks they visited recently was the old elementary school in Winslow that's been closed for nearly a decade. Photojournalist Joel Katner caught up with them to share their mission. We go around the state and we take pictures of old or dilapidated buildings that have been long forgotten to communities. It's situations like this school that there's just so much left behind and there's just so many stories to tell. Oh, somebody's discipline notice. Interesting. Where to start? Still assignments on the board. At the very least, we want to document these places before demolition or something very traumatic happens. Oh, gosh. I remember this. It's interesting. You know, you are exploring these buildings, and you don't know what to expect. Never open a refrigerator. <coughs> and that's why. It's also very thrilling and very exciting to walk through places that are just left to rot. Super cool. What I look for in abandoned buildings is when things are left behind, because that's what tells the best story. It's almost like time just froze. People just got up and left. Uh, I mean, this is graffiti, I think. We don't go in and try and find ghosts. At the same time, you're in a pitch black room that you've heard rumors. It's very, very creepy at times, and I would not be surprised if some of the places we've been to are haunted. Disgusting. Another reason this school is one of my favorite places, it brings back a memory, one place back in Oklahoma called Dungey High School. It closed down in 2004. You walk in, and it's like as if every student just got up and left. One day on the news, I saw that it was burning down and I wanted to go, you know, document like after the fire pictures. There was a lady in the hall and she was crying and she said her husband had always wanted to buy the high school that he graduated from and he turned it into a school for underprivileged kids. Six years later, he suddenly died. His wife couldn't keep up with the school so she had to close it. She said that building was the only memory she had left of her husband. So once I was able to give her my pictures, you know, that really changed my view on just taking some pictures of abandoned buildings. It really meant something. We never want to show these buildings in a negative way. That's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to document those historical buildings and hopefully they can be renovated. It's not just for cool pictures. It's to share the stories and photos with everyone around. And I just love the idea of that. You never know. It could catch fire tomorrow and it, or it could get demolished. I think it's really cool to be able to preserve history in that way. It is